What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic the Gathering. The internet experience. Your favorite and mine. Mostly yours, though. But also mine. So, here we go. Let's hop right in and uh, see what the Vintage Cube has for us. <clears throat> Probably going to do about two drafts tonight. Mike B doesn't get home till like, 1-ish, so... And we're probably going to watch some Deadwood. Well, no power here, my friends. Treachery is pretty close to power. Opposition is pretty powerful. These are powerful, powerful wizards in this pack. Hmm. Treachery and opposition are cool. I'm going to, I'm going to lock this chair. There we go. Oh, wait, I did it wrong. Oh, hold on. I think I got to do this. And nope, that didn't do it. Oh, hold on. Okay, that did one. And then we're gonna do this. And, okay, perfect. We did it. I like treachery much better than worn power stone, just because this is a very repeatable effect. Even if you get a signet, it's still pretty close to a power stone. And I think opposition is also significantly stronger than power stone. I think treachery and opposition are the two pecs I'm leaning towards. So that being the case, I kind of want treachery. Yeah, we're going to Treachery here. I don't like Opposition because it commits you to a pretty heavy blue deck. Whereas I'd rather just take the Treachery. And, and not, not not a heavy blue deck, but it, it commits you to a heavy a deck with heavy creatures in it. Mana War, thank you so much for the resub. I don't think the subs are popping, though. So I'm going to actually refresh that and see if that works. Everything else is good. Probably just taking Demonic Tutor. Demo here, if you will. Liliana the Veil is pretty good. Thran Dynamo is a thing. Hmm. Well. Huh. I think Liliana is probably the strongest pick in this pack, especially if we can get things that go well with her, like Lingering Souls or, you know, discard cards. It's probably Liliana, right? I don't actually love Liliana and Limited that much, but I do respect the fact that she is a powerful wizard. I'm gonna take this Jace. We could I could see taking a Misty Rainforest here, but I think Jace is a little stronger. Stoneforge. We can get a Jitte or a Batter Skull. And then we could be Esper pretty easily. Golgari Signet lets us play... I like. I actually like Gonti a lot in the Vintage Cube because the cards are so much more powerful. Like, if Luis likes... I guess you still have to pay for it. It's still fine, though. Like, I think if, if Luis likes Sheldock Isle so much, I think liking Gonti is also pretty good. I like Lingering Souls here. Bloodstained Mire is really nice, especially if we're going three colors. But I like Lingering Souls because we can discard it to Liliana and it lets us keep... It lets us be Esper. I like a Karn. I also like an Ulamog, but I also like a Hostage Taker. Oh my god, this pack is great. Esper is greater than Sultai. How dare you? How dare you, China Bull? Is Hostage Taker better than Karn? I don't know. Thank you. <clears throat> Bob blah blah. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Happy uh happy sub baby for us. I think I like Hostage. We already have Treachery. I'm going to take the Karn, I think. Karn is a Planeswalker. Do you guys know that? Do you guys know Karn is a Planeswalker? I like... Oh, I like Sphinx because we can discard it to Liliana and try to reanimate it. It's also castable. Eight mana is not a tremendous amount, especially in the Vintage Cube. I, I think this card's strong. Yeah, we're going to risk it. Also, Jace Architect of Thought is very, very good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this guy. It's a big dude that's on color. Opposition came back. Wow, that's something. That is something. 
I don't think it's opposition. I don't think we're an opposition deck. We do have Lingering Souls, but eh, it's not. Eh, it's really not where you want to be. It's probably Phyrexian Arena. I like Phyrexian Arena. Cast Down's reasonable. Uh, Gifts Ungiven could be good if we get Unburial Rites. Maybe? I think I just want the Cast Down. We don't actually have a ton of removal right now. We have Liliana and Treachery. Oh, Sphinx's Rift came back. All right. Feels good. I don't actually like Corpse Dance, as you might have noticed uh, if you watched my draft with Rob. I just don't think it's that great. Uh, I think Lyra is good. Double white, though, I'm trying to avoid. We'll just take the Impulse. Uh, Wrath of God seems good. It's a nice thing to have. Una's Prowler, another discard outlet if we end up getting some kind of reanimation. We have Liliana and Una's Prowler for, and Jace for, for discard, so reanimation could be on the menu. Well, Elspeth. Pretty sure it's Mana Confluence here. I mean, I think Mystic Confluence is actually stronger than a Reanimate here. Yeah, I'm going to go with Mystic Confluence. Uh, Liliana, Death's Majesty is a thing. Mana Vault is also a thing. I think it's got to be Mana Vault, right? Like, that's like a turn two Karn. Yeah, we're going to take the Mana Vault. Mana Vault just allows you to do pretty busted things. It's basically kind of like power. Ugin and Teferi. I don't think Time Spiral is where we want to be. Mana Leak's good. I think it's just Teferi, right? We can't reanimate an Ugin, so I'm not super high on that. Pretty sure it's just Teferi here. So all of our white cards are just one way. We got Sphinx's Rev, Teferi, Lingering Souls, and Sphinx's. Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Double Sphinxes. Mask Room's nice. Daze is pretty okay. Thank you. Quacker 2000. You can't reanimate a Scrober either, you dummy. That's actually a good point. I had not considered that. Ten months in a row. Thank you so much, man. Always appreciate the support from a good a good buddy. Um well. Huh. I think it's one of these two, or it could be this, but I think it's one of these two. I don't think we need Dig Through Time. We already have Mystic Confluence, we have Jace Impulse. We have a lot of card advantage. I don't like, I think it's just Massacre Worm. Massacre Worm just wins games, whereas Daze is just a, uh, that's kind of cute. Oh, I like Thief of Sanity, but we're gonna actually take the first Fixing Land, which is probably for the best. We also have 17 cards and a whole other pack left, so I'm not, Oh, Marsh Flats is actually perfect. So, thanks, Marsh Flats. Marsh Flats, Marsh Flats, Marsh Flats. That's a little bit of a Brady Bunch meme there, in case you guys didn't know. Everything is terrible. Thank you so much for the resub. Sub, sub, babby hype. Demo for some piffs, tefs, or demo for some piffs, tefs, or whatever other weird abbreviations Soul Mike said. What was piff? Past in flames? <laughs> that was, yeah, that was pretty good. Demo for some piffs. <laughs> oh, man, that's fantastic. I actually kind of like Vampire Nighthawk here just as a dude. We could take the Banishing Light. Hmm. I think Banishing Light might be better. It's just a well-rounded answer. We can also cut the blue, but I don't feel like we have to do that just yet. They need to re reboot that damn show? What show? What did I say? Did I say something? Oh, 
Oh, Colonnade. God, I love Council's Judgment because it kills all of the things. It kills every, literally anything. It could target anything, but I'm just taking the Colonnade. That's a good, that's a good land. There's, oh, good times, good times. You can always tell the days we got a bunch of uh, gifted subs because then like my, my sub goes from like 530 to 480. So there was probably like 80 subs yesterday. Or, or today rather. That were gifted. And then they just expired today. So, Well, Solmak is away. We need to make up some card nicknames and then use them without explanation next time he's on. Like, uh... Yeah, we can come up with I guess, we can come up with some good ones. I, I bet we can do it. Oh, I like Palace Jailer. We get to be the monarch. I also like Elspeth a lot as well. Hmm. My con. <laughs> this could be Treach. We could treach him. Oh god, this is actually a tough pick. We don't have much ramp. I kind of just want the palace jailer yeah I want to take the palace jailer oh history of banalia we're getting real close to just playing black white and splashing blue the shadows welcome back buddy hope you're doing good hope you're doing good um maybe it's actually makeshift mannequin I like mannequin yeah, I'll take relic order we don't have a way to deal with artifacts blight brightling is nice Maybe we are just higher white than... Maybe we're just black-white now. This is... Wow, that's a late Mind's Desire that someone's getting. Even that's playable. Good lord. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Wait, so right now, Kerwit and Neon Tokyo are both in Florida? Holy smokes. We should totally all get together. It could be Kerwit, Neon, Neon Tokyo, and me. And we can have a... Oh, a Mox Emerald stream. I want this Hollowed Fountain, but I'm not passing a, a, a Mox, even if it's off color. So, Mox it is. I hope this comes back. It's possible. It's also possible someone passes us an Ancestral Recall or something, because they're not blue. So, Neon Tokyo is in West Palm Beach. Kerwit is in Key West. So, Kerwit has to just go up a few hours, like three hours to visit you and pick you up in West Palm and then you guys can just head about four hours east to get to me in like Tampa so I think we can do it you guys just have to get started though oh yeah definitely enjoy that public sub that is a uh, that is an experience right there my friend it's Ashiok right Vindicate's great but it's gotta be Ashiok Actually, this is a pretty tough one. It's got to be Ashok. Oh, the, the, the big daddy himself. See, we already have a scrubland, a marsh flats, and if we take this shambling vent, it's just so many sources of, of black white mana, but I think that's still fine. I'm going to take the Shambling Vent. Old, old Ashy Larry at it again. Sea Chrome Coast. Arid Mesa is nice because they can get a sh um, Scrubland. I don't know if that's good enough, though. I might just want Hero Blade Hold because she's bonkers. Might just be the Sea Chrome Coast. Like, we have 23 cards right now. I'm also not trying to add, like, a million double white cards. Godless Shrine. Okay, so now we have Scrubland, Godless Shrine, Marsh Flats, and uh, Shambling Vent. We have literally all of the, uh, the black-white lands. So, yeah, maybe we're just black-white. Tidehelvis Scholar could be good. 
A lot of people go crazy for the chicken tender sub, but it's really up to personal preference. Anything, yeah. I uh, the chicken tender sub is definitely the most hyped. Uh, I personally like turkey, and if you want to special specialize it, I get the honey maple turkey. I'm a big fan of that. I feel like we can just cut the blue, to be quite honest, which makes me really regret not taking the. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna take this guy. Makes me regret not taking the hero of blade hold for for sure. Smuggler's copter seems great in our deck. These cards are downloading pretty pretty slowly here. Um, that's a it's a late splinter twin, ladies and gentlemen. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Neon Tokyo, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Happy holidays to you. Well, you have to let us know how your sub goes because. See, if we're not playing blue, I feel bad about taking Ashiok, and I also feel bad about taking the land instead of the Hero of Blade Hold. <laughs> so, I feel like those are... Oh, well, now we have Hollow Fountain, so I feel actually better about that. But there's also Leshnorn and him to Torok in this pack, so it really depends on which way we're going now. I think we're going to have to just take Hollow Fountain and be blue, because I think our blue is stronger. So, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> Neon Tokyo, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are the hero. Wow, the Vindicate came back, so all of our regret is gone. That's pretty unbelievable. I saw Kerwit check in earlier. He was I saw I saw him in the in the chat, but now he's gone, so Wow, Hero's Downfall came back? Urborg might be worth playing. I kind of like Hero's Downfall, though. Actually, I'm going to take Sun Titan, because we have Ashiok, we have Brightling, we have Liliana. Like We have actually multiple Planeswalkers that Sun Titan came back. I'll put Mask Worm on the sideboard for now. Am I perhaps at the Euro? I don't think that was good. I'm going to be honest with you. I love you, buddy. I, I I don't think it was a good one. I think that was not your final. Okay, Hero of Bladehold comes back. Has anyone cast a Hero of Bladehold before? Because I feel like once you cast a Hero of Bladehold, you're probably not going to pass it. Why is the turkey a jerk, though? Look, I don't want to get into it, but let's just say it's personal. <laughs> oh, God. Eh, Phantasm Image is pretty late. And a Temple Garden. Alright, so this is 30 cards. We have to make cuts. <sighs> Yikes. Uh, cast Down can probably go. We have Ultimate Price, which I think is fine. Don't care about impulse really. How do we have like we're splash? I feel like we're splashing the blue. All of our lands are white, right? So we probably don't need any. We'll need like one planes in the deck. Probably cutting Mother of Runes. I don't think we're a Mother of Runes deck. I kind of just want Hero of Blade Hold, even though we passed it. I feel like this is pretty easy to cast with a Mana Vault. Like, if you have Mana Vault, this only costs 5 mana, which is pretty nuts. Also, we do have Phantasm Image and Sun Titan, so we can go Sun Titan, get back Phantasm Image, copy Sun Titan, get back something else. Uh, I don't care about Una's Prowler for not, like, a reanimate deck. Brightling is actually surprisingly good. A 3-3 three, three for 3 that can either be a 5-1 or a 1-5 that also gets lifelink is pretty good. <sighs> like I was I was actually uh I was on the fence about Brightling, but it turned out to be very, very good. 
I think all of these are good. I think this is the deck. <laughs> it's okay. We only need one more cut. I'm going to cut the Banishing Light. I think Vindicate's just better. Probably can cut Phyrexian Arena. We have a lot of card advantage outside of that. And maybe we can just... No, I don't really like playing 16 lands here. We can play 41. We have a Mana Vault. I think this is actually fine for 41. And then we can get laughed at. Alright, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Literal 7 sources. This is 9 sources of white. I'm okay with it. Black, we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can go 7. And then blue, we have 1, 2... Three, four, five, six. We have seven here. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this would be right. I'm going to cut one of these and add another black. I think this is good. 16 lands and an off color mox. Wow, the Brightling is sick, although some prefer Rolex. Wow. Okay, that was a. Uh... That was actually a pretty solid watch reference there. Um, Mannequin, I like Mannequin because it can get back something like Sun Titan or Hero of Blade Hold. Like, it's just, there's certain creatures that you can get back with a Mannequin uh, that can win the game. And if there happen to be, like, red-green and you get back a Sphinx, it's just very strong, so. Uh, Breitling, B-R-E-I-T-L-I-N-G, is a watch company, yes. So it was a, yep, there you go. It was a play on words there. All right. Oh, look who it is. I'm tempted to demonic tutor for another white source here. Maybe like a. I don't want to see Chrome Coast. It's probably gonna be a black source, a black white. Maybe like a Scrubland. They might just counter this though, and then they play, like they countered Demo. Demo for a god tree. I'd probably demo for a screw. That's a screw bland. Scra? A scra instead? I don't know. It feels bad to do it, but I don't have a second white and we do need a second white, so I actually think it's okay to do here. Oh, I was actually thinking you were gonna counter this. I mean they probably just counter whatever we whatever we get with it, but they don't. It feels so bad playing Demonic Tutor for a land. But it feels good playing all the cards in your hand. Is this where they go like Pestermite and then just kill us? Oh my god, they're really gonna... I'm so... so vomitous. Well, let's see if we're dead. I mean, if they just tap out, it's pretty risky when we have a black mana up, so... Okay. Let's hope you don't have a fourth land. That would be great. Oh my god, that's great. They don't have a fourth land? No way is that real. Direfully Daredevil Exiling our Demonic Tutor. So you could play Demonic Tutor. Unless... Oh my god, that's great news. <clears throat> well, that was fashionable late to the party. All right. I kind of just want to vindicate this guy, to be quite honest with you. You gotta stop calling it. I'll never. I'll never stop calling it. Do I just vindicate here? I don't know. It's tempting. It's tempting to just get rid of this dude. I could see Vindicate the Mountain being a good line too, but like just getting rid of the Exarch is like, I mean, they're already missing a land drop. And the only thing we have to really play around is like Force, Force of Will, Force Spike, and Daze, which Vindicate does. 
And I think we have time to play around. Yeah, we can also steal this guy. Yeah, that seems better. I'll take three here. Next turn we'll have four mana, so we can play around four spiker days, which they may have. Well, they missed another land drop, like you do. It's your boy. Um, I'm gonna take the Glory Bringer. And then we can actually kill this guy, which is nice. What up, still why? Glory Bringer's nice because I can actually just get this guy off the board. What else do we get to see? We saw a chain lightning? Sure. This is where the like Mox Splinter Twin get you. And I'm like, oh no, don't get me. I just want to keep playing around. I just want to keep playing around like Days and Force Spike because I do feel like they kind of have it. Let's get this guy off the board forever. Of course, if they like play into the royal or something and bounce this guy, it's kind of scary, but they're only on three lands, so I'm not terribly afraid. Uh oh. Pestermite? Eh, Vindling Collect, sure. Targeting me. You got it. Soul might kill that. Yep, that was a that was a harrowing experience. Oh, that's a good one. They got rid of my tr my treachery. That's sad. We could have played treachery last turn, um, but I don't feel like either of the creatures that they have on board are really worth a treachery. They're probably going to feel to ruin our shambling vent in order to get another mountain. Sower of temptation. That is pretty good. So, they're probably going to sack this guy to Liliana. Come on, one time, be something good. Yeah, this game turned around. Ultimate price would be good. Island. Not too shabby. Hmm. Just kidding, it's actually pretty shabby. We could play both of these. We have to take two more, go to nine, and then they have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the air. Which is not ideal. One, two, three, activate. We don't have enough. We'd have to take two if we want to play either Liliana and attack with this or Brightling and attack with this, right? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. I guess we go up to 11, or we go up to 13, so we can actually take two and play Brightling. Yeah, I guess it's not. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ugh. The problem is, if they have a way to, to kill Brightling, it's pretty bad for us. They have nine in the air. God, so bad. So they're definitely playing a heavier creature based deck. So like we can bring in like cast down and stuff. Is it worth it just to go to? It's really scary. Rob, if you're watching the replay, we're on to you. Oh, man. I 
I don't think we can do it. I don't think it's worth it. Um, but we can play Brightling and get rid of a guy, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we have they have no ground guys, so we're just gonna attack with Gonti. Like we go to we go to two if they attack with everything, so we're probably just dead here. Oh, uh, the chain link went to bottom went to the bottom with uh, Gonti. Face. Also, if we're able to get rid of the Sower of Temptation, it's pretty nice, but... Face. Face. Liliana. Okay. I don't think they can kill us, otherwise they would have. Oh, I forgot about Exert. That's really sad. Actually, I don't know how I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, so we're at four. Not dead. Oh, that's pretty bad. Yeah, this matchup. Uh, so we can actually exert, copy you, exert to kill you, get this one back, but then we just died a little double thopters here. Hmm. Well. Yeah, they just attack with both. Now, Shambling puts us to six, then we take two in the air. All of our Shut creatures would be tapped. 11 days off and avoiding family buck. Thank you so much. That's still why. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, we can attack with Shambling Vent and see what happens. So what are we copying? We're copying like Glory Bringer, exerting it to kill the. Yeah, but the other bringer is tapped. Is the problem. So like we still have a bunch of creatures in the air. Like, I mean, this is the best line I believe, but I'm pretty sure we're still dead. So we go to six, then they have three, four, five, and they just sacrifice. Yeah, like I mean it's it's a noble uh it's a noble endeavor, but I don't know how yeah, like I feel like we were in really good shape there and then we died. Alright, so what's bad against them? I had a bunch of flying guys, they got the Ophiomancer. I almost want Wrath of God. I don't actually think treachery is great against them. Karn probably not great. We can bring in Wrath of God. Massacre Room seems pretty epic. Amira Angel. Amira Angel also seems pretty good. Maybe better than Hero here. Liliana seems bad. We'll bring in Mary Angel. Thank you for helping me and the rest avoid annoying family by giving us a hey, anytime, anytime, buddy. Glad I could help. Um, yeah, we're gonna keep this. We can go get a uh hollowed fountain here. If we copy Sower and take Mom and Dad, they still have Glorybringer in play. I guess it was exerted, wasn't it? Gontismo. Is that his name? Gontissimo?
And then we just wait. Their name. <laughs> wow. Wow. Way to go, little Willy. Way to go. Is Gandhi not a male or female? Do do Aetherborn not have gender? Because that would be an interesting piece of trivia. I wasn't sure, but I'm not actually sure about that. <clears throat> I would love to have a blue black land. It's unfortunate that we don't. Oh, gender, that's amazing. That's actually sick. I did not know that. Is the term Lord gender neutral? I always thought Lord was male and Lady was female, but I could be wrong. Those could be different titles. Just like Smash Yacht, that is correct. Nope. And give me one land. Oh, give me a Mox. Okay, that's that's close. Basically what I asked for. This doesn't look vintage cube? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Don't do me like this magic. Come on. One time. Oh, we did it. How goes the draft? My girlfriend just broke up with me. So seriously, I thank you for streaming right now. You're really keeping me from acting. Bobby, I'm so sorry, buddy. That is not... Oh, man. I'm so sorry, dude. I definitely know the feeling, sir. Oh, you're going to counter my Ashiok. Yep, you have no soul. And currently looks like legacy. Well, I'm so sorry that I don't have any power in my in my hand at this exact moment. Bobby, your chat girlfriend is here for you right now. We're all here for you, Bobby. Bobby. I think we're just gonna wrath here. Because I wanna play hero, but I don't wanna not wrath. I'd rather just kill these two creatures and play hero. It's a two for one. I'm okay with it. It happens. Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Good spirits, though, buddy. Good spirits. Do I just play big Tefs or do I play hero here? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Just mono counters dot deck over here. Enjoy your five mana this turn. Wow, this card's so busted, dude. Mana drain is not a reasonable magic card. What does mana drain go for? The one in my cube is uh is a proxy, a counterfeit, if you will. So I'm curious as to what it goes for, so I can pick up a real one. I mean, alternatively, they could just not have very good cards to play. Treasure Cruise with most of the mana seems good. Okay. Yeah, all right. That seems fine, I guess. You got to do what you got to do. Oh, my God. Really? You're just going to counter everything I play? <sighs> That's not the worst you could do. All right. I think we're dead here. Someone call the Watsy police. You'll never be able to prove it. All right, so. Well, we're going to do it again. Do we play around Snapcaster? I don't think so. <gasps> Resolvo. Okay. 
Go for the Legends Manager. That's probably the one I'm not going to go for. That might be the only one I don't go for. Let's go view all versions. Legends is like 176. Uh, the, the Iconic Master is about 50. So that's not terrible. This is where they attack and try to get us with a Chain Lightning. No, no attacks. Okay. Are we going to actually get in there with the, the Hero Blade Holder? That seems pretty good. I'm game. Waiting for... Oh, all right. Let's stack these correctly. Uh, Battle Cry goes on first, and then the tokens are made. I'm going on a date Thursday. It's been 10 years since I was on a first date. Whoa. That's a good amount of time. Shadows, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Are you going to be playing Commander on Christmas? I'm working on my... No, I, I will probably not be playing Commander on Christmas. I will be playing it next week, though. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we, they lost a Venser and a Lightning Strike to a Hero of Blade Hold, and we still get to keep two soldiers, so I'm okay with it. Chris, if you, if you want to gift me a, a Legends Mana Drain, I will gladly put it in my cube. That's my that's my gift to you. And you'll know you supported me well on my way to playing 9394. So. All right, they have four cards, we have two cards. One of our cards is very good. We also have a celestial colony and two one ones. I think we're up I think we're up here. Because they also have 1 2 3. Yeah, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. I guess we're just activating Colonnade at this point. Yeah, that's probably good too, I guess. Uh, one, two. I think we're just killing the Jace with this. We'll see. <laughs> Seriously, if anyone was if anyone was gifting me a uh, a mana drain, there is literally no reason that it would have to be uh, an, a legends mana drain. That's pretty ridiculous. So don't uh, don't go crazy. Oh, I guess there's actually there's that's for a near mint one. I wonder what the uh, yeah that's fine. Moderately played is like one oh six. Actually, that's much more reasonable than I thought. Yeah, you can get moderately played uh, for like 120. That's actually not terrible. That might be worth going for the OG. Oh, they still have nothing? This is working out quite well for us. One, two, three, four, five. And this guy. This is a two turn clock. I can't imagine the red deck has that many answers to a Celestial Colonnade. One thing I always do incorrectly is I play my land and then I attack with the, the creature land so that if they bounce it or something, I can't replay it. And that's always a big issue that I have. So make sure you guys don't do that. If you're planning on attacking... Um, you know what? What's going on, BSP? Um, I'm tempted to let you take that. Like, if so, if we ultimate price this, you take the massacre room. Maybe. But it also gives you a blocker. I guess we can. Yeah, we're just gonna kill it. If you want to take massacre room, that's fine. We get two draws, so. It means you only have one card in hand, which means you don't have. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it means you don't have. Splinter Twin combo, so you can't go end of turn to see Rex Arc and then kill us. Which is nice. Sweltering Suns cycle. Okay. If you cast it, you would have had one more turn. And now you're dead. Alright. That worked out pretty okay. That was an abundance of lands as well. 
Hmm. I think actually it's funny that they brought in Sweltering Suns because we brought in Wrath of God. I feel like Sweltering Suns kills most of your creatures. This deck is clearly trash. Not enough goblins, brah. Hey, how many goblins do you think would be appropriate? How many do you think we need? I'm tempted to bring in the Frexian Arena, but or the Banishing Light. Lingering Souls is very good. I don't know why we don't. I like Tide Hollow Sculler because it lets us see what they have. Like if they want to waste a Mana Drain on it, that's fine. 154. That's a good number. It's very random, but it's good. Oh wow, this is a, this is a hell of a hand here. I'm gonna mulligan. I guess I will keep this less abrasive hand. Yeah, we'll keep that on top. That's a turn one, Jace. But they can't actually daze here, so that's pretty good. I don't know why I keep thinking they have days. I think that was the amount you made with Rob. Was it? Were you watching? It was a lot. It was a lot of goblins. Yeah, they. they I just figured they just killed Jace, but whatever. We do need a white source here. Oh wow! I feel like that's going to be hard to deal with. That's amazing. Oh, well, got a Splinter Twin and a Blink of an Eye. One of those is an answer to this Ashiok. The other is a card we were afraid of, so. Wow, Ashiok on turn two is pretty insane. You did 153 damage and they blocked one. No, no, they went to no, they went to negative 153. So it depends on what they were at before we did the damage. Well, that's unfortunate. We're really all in on this on this Ashiok here, but I think that's Oh, we got a Deceiver Exarch. Alright. I don't think that's exciting. So it's 153 minus Yeah, cycle, that's fine. I need two white sources. Well, that's pretty good. That's frustratingly good, jeez. So even if we get a land here, I guess we can bring back a Jace. Ugh. Okay, well, it's not a white mana, which is really what we're looking for here. <sighs> we could put Deceiver Exarch in play. Actually, a white mana is really good with Deceiver Exarch because we can play Deceiver Exarch. And, like, if we get a white mana, we can tap the white, play to see Rex Arc, and then untap it. Yeah, that's going to be our plan if we hit a white mana in the next turn or so. Thank you. Raver, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it, buddy. 12 months in a row. A year of nothing but amazing magic from the best hair and beard in magic. Have a Merry Christmas. I really appreciate it. Why don't you have a Merry Christmas? Did you ever think about that? No, I bet you didn't. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. You guys are great. Yikes. Well, that's terrifying. But at least we know we get to get Jace back, and so this is what oof, Jace. Oh god, Ashiok is dead. God, any white mana here would have been great. So what? Four, eight, nine. Oh my god! Well, blocking one goblin actually doesn't do it, which is super unfortunate. We could chump block the goblin rabble master. Actually, I think that's probably the better play. Because Jace goes to six, we can Ashiok, we can kill, wipe the board, and then we're still ahead. <sighs> yeah, one one white mana that comes into play untapped is really what we want here. Wow. 
Oh, one man away from that too. This sucks. This really sucks. Wow, that's really stupid. Even Mana Vault would have been great. Like one, two, we can tap this to Mana Vault. Mana Vault for three, four, five, six. Use Deceiver X Arc to untap a swamp. Oh my. White, double white, double white, Massacre Worm. So bad. <laughs> this game would go so differently with first turn Jace, second turn Ashiok, if we literally just didn't get stuck on mana for the remainder remaining turns. The problem is the Deceiver Exarch really put us ahead because we can get double white from it. So now it's like there's going to be a situation where like we just don't have the double white or the or the sixth mana. So it's like we're going to get to a point where like that's going to be a turn too late. Now we're taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We go to 5 here. And if they have any counter spell, we're just basically dead. So this is kind of sad. Like I feel like our, our deck did not... Uh, perform this specific game which is unfortunate Yep, that'll be game. <laughs> Teferi is not going to do it, and we can't deal with either of these guys. Any oh god, any land in like five turns. It's turn seven. We missed three land drops. That would have done it reluctantly. I mean, they also could have any counter spell in their hand. Do we want to change anything? I think I like the way the deck works. I just don't think we. That's cool. That's cool. No, oh, that's that's not not much better. You know what? Keep it. It is a turn two Gonti. Now nah, we can do better. If we get a blue next turn, it's a turn two Teferi, which puts us way into this game. Reluctantly crouched at the game one line. Mana won't be drawn in time. The dice roll sends the cards shuffle up. And long ago... Oh, dang it. Well, we're not wasting this on an Ophiomancer. Okay. Come on, blue mana. One time, one time. That's not what we're looking for here. You guys are uh, you guys are seeing firsthand the issues that we're having with three color decks. I know they have four mana up, so this guy's never resolving. Oh, that might that might resolve. Well, Mike B is off on Wednesday, so he would be streaming with me on Wednesday. I do have some other steps in the queue, but sometimes it's just nice to just draft on natural. Wrath of God, wrath of God, wrath of God in his time of need. Because he's killing the creatures and wiping the board. He's going the distance. Never resolving. Yeah, you got four mana up and a blue-black deck? Okay, cool. 
Oh, it did resolve. Oh, wow. Well, I'll put you by yourself. They have five cards in hand. Yeah, we can split them like this. Okay, force of will, disallow, and oh, I guess because we gave you the counter spell for the for the hero blade hold. Yeah, that's pretty bad. We're not in our on our best game. Sure. The old factor F you. Wow, that's aggressive. It's funny because, well, I guess it doesn't matter. They basically traded a factor fiction for a hero of blade hold, but they also netted a, a soul ring out of it, which might have been poor distribution on my part. Like, I feel like they were going to take whatever card Force of Will was in because they didn't want... Hero of Blade Hold resolving? I, I, I certainly wouldn't. Also, if we draw one more blue, we can... Wow. That's something. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. He's going the distance. I like how at some point they decided they forced need another draw. So they said, pay one life. Seems balanced. Yeah, they're like, you know, it's really not the same if they're not paying a life here. Come on, blue source. I got a sneeze. It's not happening. Oh, that's actually fantastic. We're having a good time. That's pretty nice. So they have two cards. If they play one, if we draw a blue source, we can go blue source, Teferi, discard with Liliana, draw with Teferi, which seems pretty good. That's a good dude. That is a, unfortunately, a very, very good dude. No. Come on, one time. <laughs> Come on. Jeez. This is so brutal. Now they just get to reanimate, I don't know, Hero Bladehold, Ophiomancer, Tassiger, or Doom Whisper. Oh, crying out loud. Like, that's just like, that's just game winning. Scarab God is so broken if you just have no answer for it. Oh, wow. They didn't play Bribery that turn? They could have had a Sphinx of the Steel in? I guess that's not, I don't know if that's better or not, but geez. Well, I mean, it's either discard the Mox or discard the Teferi. I. Yep, that's pretty good. Mm. They also have eight mana, so they can reanimate two things a turn, which is yeah, not ideal for us. Our Esper deck drew green mana before blue mana. Yeah, that's not the first time. Last game, it drew green mana before white mana, so... What up, Chris? <laughs> I can't tell if you were doing it in the voice that I do. I feel like you might have been. Oh, they just got rid of my snake. That's cool.
they're doing well for themselves yep same voice <laughs> oh yep another black blue land all right black white land fantastic god this deck seemed great but i think it's just like the mana is really iffy it's the problem is like when you get a, a mana base that has too many of one color in it like we have too many we have one two three four five six we have seven blue sources in the side in the in the deck i have no idea why why it's going so poorly banishing light seems great against things like uh his royal his royal scarabness so does treachery well on i was actually fine there they don't have a ton of creatures this one is not going super great you're right you're right i don't personally understand it myself like we have 17, 17 lands and a mana vault. I, I don't really understand the... I'm going to take Ophiomancer out. It's not super impressive. Uh, I will keep this hand. We have all the colors for once, and we got to turn two Jace, which I'm sure will die, but this is just the life, life we're living, I guess. Oh, they went to six? Now they know how it feels. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, Jace. Don't force of will, my Jace. Oh, we did go to five. That's true. That's a good point. Frank, can you wave so I can see the lag? Did it. Don't kill my Jace. Just let him... Oh, my God. Every game, they're just going to kill it. Can I draw a white mana so I can play Brightling? Let's get a Scrubland. Okay. Let's get it anyway. Because <laughs> we want to be able to play Gonti and Palace Jailer. So we definitely need another white and another black. So we're actually going to get Shambling Vent here. And now we have all the colors of the wind. We're like Pocahontas up in here. I have the delay on zero for both OBS and for Twitch. So if you guys are seeing a delay, it's likely on your end. It's nothing I'm doing. So there's no, there's nothing I can really fix about it. Your internet probably just sucks, nerd. Nerds. All right. That's fine. Ooh, maybe it's just Karn here. Hmm, four spike. Our oh, days. Nope, nothing. Let's do it. Five hundred thousand seconds. That's pretty insane. Oh, little do you know, that's what I wanted you to give me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Jingle Bell Rock. Why do I have the Jingle Bell Rock stuck in my head? My delay is 526,600 minutes. Wow. How many? Hold on. Hold on. 526, 525, 600. That's minutes. So divided by 60, this is how many hours it is. Divide that by 24. That's a year. Okay. So, so great. Oh, Chris. Chris, you're my favorite, buddy. When are we going to Magianos again? Oh, Tidal of Skuller and a Liliana of the Veil. 
that's the one I wanted least. Oh, they just conceded from the game. All right, that was an interesting choice. They had five cards and an Argyle's Bloodfast on board. What? Why would they? Huh. All right, felt a little impulsive, but what do I know? I feel like our deck is good. We have Vindicate, Banishing Light, Tide Hollow Sculler, Demonic Tutor. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get your joke, Chris. Oh my god, you're going to get me demonetized with this one. Is it from Rent? I have, I've never seen Rent. Oh, it's from the Rent soundtrack. Wow. I'm going to keep this hand because it does all the things. And we can actually Demonic Tutor for... Demonic Tutor is literally just a, a scrying sheets. Sylvan scrying in our deck. You're not missing anything. God, this is aggressive. Oh, lingering soul. Oh, copter into lingering souls. That's gas. Let's do that. That's gasoline. I was too busy looking up the rent soundtrack. I heard you say something about Magianos. Go on. I asked when we we're going to Maggiano's next. Chris, one of my regular uh, supporters, one of my regular subs, uh, his name is Kerwit. He lives in Seattle. And he was like, hey, if you want to come visit Seattle, we can. Uh, I can help you fly up here. And I was like, oh, that'd be sick. So I'm, I definitely feel like there is a, uh, a potential Maggiano's in the future. I'm actually going to play Sculler and discard Lingering Souls. See if they let me do this. They're probably going to disallow it, which is fine. Oh, it did not. Wow, that's interesting. Also, Sculler has the old wording, so if they kill it... Go for the throat, can't kill it. Force of Will and Dig Through Time. Wow. I'm going to take Shackles here. I always forget to crew. Let's not do that. Bro, I need some cheese in my diet. Finally go to, we can talk about murders again. Oh, God. It wouldn't be the same without John, though, you know? John really held our murder conversation together, I think. They have a go for the throat in hand, and we have, like, two artifact creatures. That's pretty good. Uh... Yeah, let's get rid of Lingering Souls. Going to 15? Brutal. What up, Hodge Gulashi? It's your boy. Did they just draw? Oh, they just drew and then played? Okay, cool. Oh, that's pretty good. So they can force a will get rid of dig and force.
I think we're just making two guys here, and then we can demonic tutor for something. We have lands. My wife was at the conference in Seattle in March. Was thinking about going with her. Man, we could totally do a. Seattle March Invasion. Whatever that means. Every time I get Liliana in my deck, I'm always like, eh. Like, I totally just don't care about Liliana. She's nice as a removal spell. Like, if they play one creature, like if they tap out and go Doom Whisperer or Scarab God or something, it's nice to just be able to kill it, but... Otherwise, I'm just like, when is this going to be good? Maybe never. I guess if it's never good, you just don't... No, that's actually fine. Um, I want to get rid of this. Yeah, we'll just get rid of Liliana. I think that's actually fine here. I want to play everything else. Pretty sure we can Demonic Tutor here for something as well. Just not Mystic Confluence or... Treachery, unfortunately... However, I will play the island in case we naturally draw one, and maybe we do want to get one of those cards. Oh well, all right. We could just get a Vindicate and kill their black mana next turn as well. Um, I kind of like Teferi here. It might just be Vindicate to deal with the Shackles if they get them back somehow. So next time we can play a 3-drop. What two? Do we want a 2-drop instead? I don't think Ashok really does anything for us here. I'd rather just have something good on the board. I think it's actually Sun Titan. I'm going to take the Sun Titan. Being able to get back a Liliana or like a Tide Hollow Sculler if it dies is pretty strong. They're also at 8, so like they're kind of limited. Okay, well the game just ended. <laughs> right? It's weird that we know they had Force of Will in hand and they weren't really doing much. All right, well. From salads all the way to apple crostata. <laughs> oh man, Chris, you and I should write a book. It could be called "From Salads to Apple Crostata," the Chris and Frank story, and it'll be the story of our friendship. Oh, I I regularly look for excuses to go to Magianos. If someone's visiting, I'm like, all right, how many people can I naturally procure, and how many people are you adding? Can we do this? Can we make it happen? I always try to figure it out. This hand is interesting. If we can hit one black mana, it's not terrible. I'm going to keep it. We're on the draw. They went to six. If we get it one black, we can play all of these things. So <laughs> It was the best of times. It was the I'm okay dad of times. We hit a black mana. We are very good at this game. If you come to India, I'll take you to Magianos. Oh, baby. Now you're now you're speaking my language. I'm just going to go on a Magianos world tour. I'm just going to have people in the in the chat and subscribers uh, take me to various Magianos across the country. This is obnoxious, and I don't really like it very much. I wish I had a, an ultimate price instead of a Vindicate here, but unfortunately, if we were on the play, we could kill this. Since we were on the draw, we get to lose. Did you ever convince she Chris to change her name to Infinite Cheese? Oh yeah, this is Chris and his girlfriend Infinite Cheese. I guess we do have... I don't think we have Wrath of God in the main deck, do we? We don't. This is awkward. Uh, this is awkward because if we Vindicate one, they just make another next turn. If we play Ashiok. 
Ashiok goes to five and they make another next turn. So I think Ophiomancer is probably, I guess we can Vindicate one. Is that good? Isn't Ophiomancer just the same as Vindicating one? I don't know. Packrat is not a fun and interactive magic card, though I respect the power level and it should be in the cube because it is strong, but it's also easy to deal with with certain cards. If you come to Ohio, I can take you to Olive Garden. I don't know if there's a Magianos. Iron Chef Sammy, we will probably go somewhere other than Olive Garden. That is like the McDonald's of Italian food. I see. Well then. Oh my god, is this for real? I get to kill a pack rat and then kill another pack rat? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is just the best. This is how we do it, folks. They just give you the pack rats. Just give them to me. Now you only have a chupacabra on the board. I'm I'm game. Does Imagine is a half an hour? Okay, so everything is terrible. Don't go unless you actually have four people. Four people is the minimum for family style. So you go with four people and you get family style. That's what you do. They have one card in hand? I can't believe they gave up that rat. That's unbelievable to me. We also have an Ophiomancer and... Uh, and if they kill Ashiok, we'll have an Ashiok as well in the graveyard, which is pretty sweet. Wow, Mana Crypt, huh? Okay. Uh, we're speaking for in terms of Sun Titan, of course. I can't believe they ran a rat into our snake, dude. You never you never go lower than than one than two rats. You never go less than two rats. What do we get? Gideon, Lingering Souls. No, that's us. Lyractus Return and Flame Collar. Wow, that's real good. I think we just won this game because of that pack rat play. That's insane, dude. When my dad gets back from buying Siggy's, I'll have four people in my family. So any day now, oh, that's a, that's the that's the Mike B story. <laughs> oh man. Closest Mount Jones is 85 miles away. Oh my god. Oh, well, isn't that fascinating? Yeah, we're definitely crewing this. One, two, three, four, five. We're probably discarding Sphinx and then just getting it back with a makeshift mannequin. Oh, you're gonna let me block. And all right, well, so be it. Uh, discard you. So now we can get back a lot of things. Not a single creature was hit here, <laughs> so I'm going to keep exiling, I guess. Wow, still no creatures. Anguish and making... This is actually a pretty sweet control deck they're playing. I'm even sad to give a Vyosh and a Pyromancer to a trade in my Steam Kin deck. Why would you use a pack rat as a removal spell for... I agree with you. I agree with you. So we're definitely sun tightening here. The question is, what do we get back? And I think the only option is Ophiomancer. I don't think we want Smuggler's Copter here. I guess we could also Lingering Souls and then Instant Speed Sphinx. They are on one card, though. Or no cards, rather. I don't hate Lingering Souls Makeshift Mannequin. Like, this is a pro-red, pro-green card. So they have to, like, they have one turn to top deck. They can't target it with Chandra. 
I think we're going to go Sun Titan first. I don't think we're in any danger of losing to a Chandra just yet. But I'm pretty sure those could be famous last words as well. We're going to get Copter back because I don't really like this Mox Emerald just sitting in my hand. So Frank Zeta Maggiano's 2019 tour. It's a good one. It's a solid tour. Oh, no. Well, we don't take two here, I guess. Well, we were gonna we were either gonna lose a uh, a makeshift mannequin or a sun titan. So, oh, I guess they just concede. And just like that, I'm gonna bring banishing light in because they have a bunch of things that I want a banishing light. Uh, cast down seems probably pretty good. They have Pack Rat. Also, Wrath of God is good for Pack Rat. All right, so we're gonna bring in three things. We'll take out the Liliana. I don't think she's great here. Phantasm, which could be good. Treachery seems good. This is a, probably a great black white deck, but I actually hate Mother of Runes here. Man, how did this chat... This chat became like Magiano's chat 2019, 2018. I think we're taking Sphinx's Rev out. It seems a little slow. God, one other card, huh? I literally don't know what to pick. Jace Friends Prodigy, maybe? Brightling? We only have 10 creatures. I don't really want to cut creatures here. We'll cut Wrath of God. They don't have a ton of creatures. So, like, I, I'm bringing in Wrath of God to hedge against, like, Pack Rat, but that seems rough. It's not ideal. Yeah, this hand's actually fine. Now we have Pack Rat uh, Insurance. What's the difference between a wiener and a joke? I don't know. Cut Sylvan Scrying. <laughs> if you're referring to Demonic Tear, you're crazy. Well, that's that's unfortunate. I guess we can copy that. <sighs> Mike B did need some rat insurance. You're right. You can't take a job. <laughs> I don't get it. I can take a joke. I don't understand. So the plan for the Brian Jonas tour is fly Frank to. Oh, hold on. Going to everyone in the U.S. The only downside is we all spent our money on the plane ticket, so it becomes a dine and dash. Somebody be sure to be sure. Yeah, that's. Oh, they took Phantasmal Image. Fascinating. Hmm. Four mana. Pentad Prism, infinite mana. 
Do you watch The Walking Dead or Z Nation? Uh, I walk. I have not. I I'm caught up to The Walking Dead up until this season. So. I guess yes, I do watch The Walking Dead. I'm just not caught up. I haven't watched Z Nation. I don't even know what that is actually. I'm probably going to kill this so that they don't have anything on board and then we're going to vindicate the Gaunti. Is that good? I just want to get my Phantasm image back, really. Are you caught up on Scrober Dead? No, actually, the Scrober Dead, I haven't, I haven't actually started it yet. <laughs> oh, good times. One, two, three. Vindicate this guy. Wait. Oh, they actually they use the the Pentad prism to cast the Gideon. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I get your joke. It's just not very funny. I don't understand what you're saying. Like, it's like a gay joke. Like, oh, you're gay. <laughs> I mean, all right, you got me. I guess. I like that you're spelling it out for me. Like, it's such an intricate, complicated joke. I don't understand. Please explain it to me. Explain the joke. All right. All right. Two cards in hand. land tax and you have 5,000 lands sure alright I'm not super so you have literally one you have five lands we have four lands <laughs> alright so let me break it down for you okay listen if you can't take a joke, it's implied by the structure of the joke that you can take the other object that's referenced in the joke. Uh, good one. That's what's known as a good one. Uh, could just be Jace here. Well, I tried. See, my, problem, my biggest issue with stuff like that is that, like, I can't tell if you're actually being a dick and trying to, like, actually make me feel shitty. Or if you're literally just telling a joke and it just came it came across the wrong way. I can't tell. Because I do actually mess around with my audience. My audience, like, we, like, we troll each other, so it's cool. So I can't tell where you're coming from is really my problem. So let me know, and then we'll proceed from there, I think. Is it just, I don't want to take your last card, but I really like, you have one card in hand, so it's probably just fine. See, you're a dweeb. I, uh, I understood that reference. I will copy your mesmeric fiend. They don't want me to do this? Oh, we knew this. we knew what this was. We knew we knew what it was. I totally forgot what it was. I knew what it was. I totally forgot what it was. But it's gone now, so. Thanks, Emmy. Sammy too. <laughs> Emmys and Sammys. Alright. Well, now we're good. Well, that's a thing. That's a pretty easy discard to, uh... Yeah, we can do that. I don't really want them to get land with land tax, so we're actually just going to play Brightling here. And then pass the turn. We are all garbage, Frank. Don't forget that. I don't think that's true. You guys are amazing. You guys are wonderful people. Yeah, 
Yeah, now they're just going to be like throwing lands, throwing lands at us. I don't want you to get more lands with your land. Oh, we don't. Now you don't have to get any lands. That's good. Do, do, do. Who is bad at math? That is me. Is Game Gross funny joke on the board? No, not anymore. We took it off. Funny joke. I feel like we're never going to let you. I just never want to let you get lands here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. If you get three more, just drawing three cards and being able to like hard cast a gristle brand or something. I guess you're you're literally like you're literally three swamps away though, so. And we won. All of a sudden, our deck that was one oh one with pretty bad draws ended up uh two winning, which is pretty sweet. I am I am glad to call it a deck that I drafted. Unfortunately, mana base was a little rough, but I think it was uh pretty alright. The only problem was the double blue cards in the mostly black white deck. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on, on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just going to end this YouTube video. So you can slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. Also, do me a favor and check out uh, meundies.com slash Frank Laporte. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, which is a great deal. And uh, if you're looking for that kind of product anyway, it's a great way to get it. You can, you can help the stream. You can help yourself. Everybody wins. And uh, you can get you can get that onesie you've always wanted. Also, check out Aaron Kane Custom Deck Boxes. You can find the link in the description below. His work is fantastic. If you're looking for like high quality wood custom deck boxes, uh, he has over 40 varieties of wood that you can choose from. And if you use promo code Frank, you will get 10% off of that as well. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around for the for the promotions. And I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.